This is the greatest advance in modern physics since the splitting of the atom. A rare metal, molecularly unstable. It's what they're made of. When you come into this, and I'm sure Mr. Bay really wants this to be bigger than the previous Transformers, but how do you do that personally? How do you make this bigger and better than the previous one? Well, I think if you were to ask yourself that question at the start of the film, you'd probably go nuts. <laughs> um, for Nicola and I, it was just a case of just trying to commit every day to what we were doing and really give 110%. <laughs> That's certainly how Michael approaches his work, and he definitely expects that of the people who work with him. And we were very happy to be there for him and support him in that as much as we could. Um, and to all intents and purposes, I would hope that we've succeeded in that. Uh, this film is certainly a departure from the previous films. Mm -hmm. it takes place four years after the battle in Chicago, which was uh, at the end of the third film. And in this one, uh, the Autobots are kind of jaded and tired of humanity and its flaws and the problems that we have. Mm. And um, the dynamic between Mark and Nicola and myself in this film uh, tries to restore the Autobots faith in humanity. So that's the journey that we go on in this particular installment. Um, and there's all of the usual Michael Bay Transformers yeah. elements of, you know, massive explosions and car chases and all that really great action. And it's going to be an awful lot of fun. Yeah, and I haven't seen the film, but you guys look really cool running from these explosions <laughs> and Thank being you. chased by these Autobots. And Thank you. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if I was caught in a similar situation, let's just say, or maybe I'm in the next Transformers film, yeah. how do I look as cool as you guys do? Michael it? Bay. <laughs> <laughs> he does everything cool. He's just cool. Yeah, that's it. He you touches, just make it like... cooler. That's it. That's what he says. Yeah. Just make it cooler. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best when you get that direction. Just you got to learn how to breathe real heavy. Get a good sweat going. Yeah. <laughs> tan. And... That's it. Oh man. yeah, tan. A lot of tan. A lot of tan. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And uh, one things I've one thing I always appreciated about these films is the human element, as great as it is to watch these guys fight. It'd be kind of exhausting after a while, and I yeah. really appreciate that there's a human story to it. Is that something yeah. that you Absolutely, guys yeah. look definitely, for in a script? Definitely in this, uh, in this film, you know, I was so excited, and Jack and all of us, because it's, it's such a beautiful human element in this one. And there's a great, you know, father-daughter story, and then especially between the three of us, when, because he's my secret boyfriend, there's a no dating household rule. When, when they meet, you know, there's, there's emotional moments, there's, you know, very relatable, and there's also, you know, there's, it's really funny. There, you know, TJ Miller's in it, and, and he's, he's super funny, and Stanley and Mark, and, and um, there is definitely a great human element to this one. Yeah. And it's really that thing of, you know, like you say, um, a moment ago, I mean, if it's great having the giant robots and having right. the explosions and having everything else, but if your human characters don't sell it, then you really don't have anything. Yeah. So there's, there's no weight to that. Exactly, action. it's really right. important that you know the that the human cast can really illustrate the threat and the intensity and um, the pace of what's going on, and that's yeah. something that hopefully we've achieved in this. Yeah, is Marky Mark a good dad? Yes, he's an amazing dad. <laughs> He's he's so he's an amazing guy. He really is. He's so hardworking, and and for us to be you know so young and, and in this business and uh, new to this business and to learn from him is we're very lucky. Right, right. And let's say that we were actually facing extinction and it was inevitable. What's some things on your bucket list that you'd like to cross off before the time came? Yeah, that's a question you never got. That's a really good question. Um. That's a hard I'd one. I'd like to climb Mount, Mount Everest. That's the first thing that jumps into my mind. Yeah. I'd like to go for a dip in the Ganges too, even though it's really filthy. I think I I want to go to South Africa. I'm a huge animal lover, and uh -huh. uh, I want to go on a, an amazing safari. My sister just went, and she keeps talking about it, so I really want to go. <laughs> And I'm here on the behalf of my university, so if you could teach a college course of your creation, what do you think you would teach? A college course of your? Your creation. Like so it doesn't have to be I a can history make up class. My you own. can make it up, your own agenda, all that. Hmm. 
Wow. I'd Maybe. love to, if I could teach a college course, it would be something along the lines of like sociology through film. Really that cool. would be sick, man. Yeah. In fact, that's what I'd do. If I wasn't an actor, that's what I'd be doing. I that's a great that sure. question, yeah. man. Um, I would want to talk to people, you know, about positive thinking and how it could it can change your perspective on life completely mm -hmm. and um, how it's it's really important especially you know nowadays you have to be a positive person right. and um, you know when you meet someone day to day it's not so much what they say but it's I work off energy and if someone has strong positive energy it's 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 amazing Great. well thank you so much guys I really appreciate your time thank you Pleasure. that was a really great last question dude. Thank yeah you. that was honestly <laughs> the best interview That's we've probably had the best yeah. question we've had since we started all of them <laughs>